God uses the person who dreams great dreams. You let the size of your God determine the size of your dream. And you've never really believed God until you've accomplished, attempted something that cannot be done in the power of the flesh. Most people are afraid to set great dreams and set big goals because of the fear of failure. There's something much worse than failure. It is the fear of failure. Failure is not that bad. Actually, failure is the way you learn. And that's how you learn. Don't call it a failure. Call it an education. So the, the, the failure is not bad. It's the fear of failure that's bad. And the fear of failure, the Bible says the fear of man is a snare. In other words, the moment I start worrying about what other people think, I'm dead in the water. I'm dead in the water. So it starts with a dream. Faith is in a dream. Faith is evidence in God uses the person who's willing to risk failure. Do you know why God uses me? It's not because I'm smarter than everybody else. I'm not. But God uses me because I expect him to use me. Not because of who I am, but because of who Jesus is. Not because of what I've done, but because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. If you study scripture, you'll find that every time God moves out of heaven and moves on earth, it's because somebody believed. What, what, what is God doing in your life right now? Without even knowing you, I can tell you. He's doing exactly what you expect him to do. No more, no less. Why? Because the Bible says, according to your faith, it will be done unto you. What are you expecting God to do in your life? I think the big thing is don't be afraid to fail. I think in our society today, you know, Instagram, Twitter, it's a highlight reel. Um, you know, it's all the good things. And then when you look at it, you know, you think like, wow, when you have a rough day, or your life's not as good as that. Like, you know, you're failing. You know, failure is part of life. That's a part of building character and growing. Like without failure, who would you be? Hey, we still have daily struggles. I still have daily struggles. So, um, but that's where my faith comes in. That's where my family comes in. And, you know, I think when you look at a struggle in your life, just know that, you know, that's just an opportunity for your character to grow. Something's going on in your life and you're struggling, embrace it because you're growing. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. I'm telling you, embrace it because it's inevitable. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. So you got to get out there, you got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you got. And when you fall throughout life, remember this. Fall forward.